back in the South Florida, the bottom of the clip of the Gunshine State. Ha. What them boys still boring in that way? Big plate, get it for the 18 if you straight. Get K and stop hating. It's the model of the state. Ha. A lot of face, but it's still real around here. That foreign talk that can get. All right, we sitting here with Torrance Jackson. Listen, where they got you ranked at, bro? The number seven cornerback in the nation. How'd that happen? Uh, that off my freshman year. My freshman year film wasn't that long, mm -hmm. but I had, like, it showed that I can do everything. Like, it showed I can get off blocks and meet tackle, continue running backs, cover. So that's basically what it was. I didn't have no interceptions my freshman year, though. You didn't have no interceptions? Nah. Nah? No. So, yeah, but it's still, you started on varsity at yeah. the ninth grade. Oh, right. It's major. Hold on. So, okay, so at Diller, you, they, they, had, they had a lot of eighth graders. You played, you played um, yeah. eighth grade. Yeah. No, I ain't play. I ain't play eighth grade in high school. Oh, no, no I played at Pasadena. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you just started ninth grade. Yeah. Diller High School has they have eighth graders on their team. Yeah. So, so the eighth graders at the school. Yeah, yeah they at the school. Seventh graders do. Yeah, it's six through twelve. Yeah, it's a six through twelve program. Any other schools like that? Nah, that's like I think it's only two in South Florida. I know Diller's one. I forget the other one. A lot of them, a lot of them middle. My yeah, got a football team. Yeah. Nah. No, Nova used to be like that. No, no, that was. A, okay. like so you started as a ninth grader. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, that was kind of damn. Who am I here with these? Yeah, the first <laughs> game playing for a lot of it, I had started at safety. Uh huh. And I didn't even know what was going on. I was just playing football. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean you didn't know what was going on? It's the same game. I was just playing football. Like I was, I was forgetting the calls. <laughs> <laughs> I was out there playing football. <laughs> Well, why? You was, it was moving too fast? No, nah, it wasn't moving too fast. I just had the chills. But I thought I got like a couple tackles in, then I was good. And that's when I really got to myself. Yeah. And I was just playing ball at that point. You go to camps and stuff? Yeah, I went to camp last year. I ain't got 10 none this year yet. No? No. You said you got your rating number seven in the nation? Yeah. Where in Florida? South Florida. Yeah? Well, no, where in, in Florida? They, so you ranked number seven in the nation? Nation. Mm -hmm. So in Florida, they got them ranked what? Did we, oh, overall? We, yeah. Uh, 53. You overall 53? Yeah. And at your position, what? Seven. Seven? Yeah. Okay, so, um, see, I was thinking that seven to seven, I, I do that all the time. <laughs> I do that every time, fool. I do that all the time. Which one you was looking on, what, 24-7? Uh, huh? No, I was just thinking at, at the, as a cornerback position in Florida, he's where? And he's saying? Seven. Seven. In the nation at cornerback. Not in the nation. In the right, nation. see, that's why I always get it messed up at, because I be thinking about in the nation at cornerback. He's ranked. Remember I was telling you on the phone for his classification, they right. didn't rank the nation. They didn't They didn't do the ranking for the nation. Right. Yeah. right, right, right. right. So you just got an overall in number 53. Yeah. yeah. You think you should be higher, Lord? I think I should be lower. Lord? Like, we, as in... You should be higher. 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 I feel like it's the first time ever I've heard somebody say, nah, no, I'm man, thinking, I'm I got to work on my footwork. I think I should be low. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking the opposite way. Yeah? So you think it should be higher? Yeah. Does it matter? No, nah, I don't really care about the ranking. They ain't going to lie to you, but. So, it, yeah, so nationally they have them ranked 53, um, number 7, uh -huh. cornerback, and then number 11th in the state of Florida. Right, right. So it all yes. goes together. I did the same thing. Yeah, so, I mean, but it's, you know, like I said, they didn't, they don't. They don't rank them nationally until, you know, by 11th grade and stuff like that. So, right. Yeah. So you saying the stuff matters or it don't matter what? No, it don't really matter to me, but, I mean, college courses and stuff, be looking at that nowadays, so. How you know? Because when I, they be hitting me out, they be like, see you a four-star. That, that's what get their attention. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a <laughs> minute. Go. That's what get their attention. Wait, 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 wait. So they call you and be like, well, I see you a four-star? No, like, they don't say it like that. Oh, I was going to say, hold on. Like Coach, that's how you call me? But, like, but, they, they, do, but they do pay attention they, to it. Yeah, they mention it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and we, we, we always wonder, did they pay attention to that or do they just do their own evaluation? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it brings it bring the attention so they can come look at me. Then at that point, they'll evaluate me. And they'll yeah. see that, like, I live up to the hype. <laughs> got you, got you, got you, got you. Man, I remember coming, I covered your game when y'all played, uh, was it North Miami? North Miami Beach. The COVID year, North Miami Beach, the COVID year, man. And all I, all I kept hearing was Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. So I'm like, why they keep, they keep calling this one kid named Jackson? And they were saying, man, you were supposed to follow, they, I guess, their best receiver or something yeah. like that. And they were like, yeah, you shut him down. I'm like, well, why are you over here recruiting was, this kid? This was last year. Yeah. This was last year. Yeah. Tri County year. Championship. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the Tri County Championship. That's when um, that was the teams who opted out to go to the, to the state. Beach? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was there. No, I'm on the beach. Right, right, right. Yeah, I was there. And that's when um, Najee Lee Kelly was like in the backfield every time they say, "Hey, right, right, right." You play both way? No. No, you don't play no more offense. I, I could play receiver, but I was just focused on corner right now. I got to perfect my craft first, and uh, try to go have some fun. You think that take away from it? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because I'll fall in love with it. That's <laughs> <laughs> something Charlie playing receiver, man. You, you run track too, though, right? Yeah, I run yeah. track. You, you, you doing track right right now? Yeah. Okay. When you place, did you place in um, what you placed in the, the track meet that just had, that they just had? You ran in that? I ran in the one. I ain't running the beam, but I oh. ran the pies Wednesday. Yeah? Yeah, I ran the 200, the 400, and the 4 by 4 and the 4 by 2 You fast? Yeah, I'm fast. Yeah? You, you, where, you, where you placed that? Did you, did you play? Uh, like Wednesday? Yeah. I don't even know. I just know I ran like a 22-7 and a 200. 22-7 and a 200. That's that was, pretty good. That was my first chapter. That's pretty good. That I mean, was your first time yeah. running? This year. I had ran one last year, and that's it. You, so you going to continuously run track? Right? Yeah. Yeah. You, play, you ran 707? Yeah, I played 707. Mm -hmm. I ran a track. You playing 707 for who? Defcon and SFE. <laughs> it ain't a big deal no more. That used to be a big deal. No, I'm just trying to play at this point. I'm just trying to have fun. That's all. How does it happen? If Def Con don't got nowhere to go, SFP SF coach a call, you be like, hey, boy, you want to come play? Yeah, it's not, it's not like that, but it's just like, they don't, they don't got tournaments at the same time, so. Right. Yeah, I just play with both. Right, right, right. Nah, they, um, they, they had a tournament now. Um, we covered them yesterday. Um, they both they did missing a couple. Right? They varsity dish. They varsity. Oh, they varsity not there. Nah, y'all varsity. Def Con varsity do that in the beginning. Uh, nah, not the 2014. Nah. Nah. Y'all won the tournament this year yet? Yeah, we had one. The one in Chicago. Oh, y'all went to Chicago. Both, both teams. The 2015. South Florida Express won one. Yeah. Chicago. Yeah. The 2015 and the 2014, we met in the championship. We just walked over the trophy. In Chicago. Yeah, that was weird. What was the weather in Chicago? That was really weird. It was probably like 70 degrees, but it wasn't even that cold. It was, that was inside or outside? It was inside. That's inside. That was weird because South Florida Express had two teams in the championship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, well. Oh, you was, okay. You was there with South Florida Express. I'm yeah. thinking, okay, got gotcha. you. Nah, yeah, you was there with that South Florida Express. Yeah, they had two right. teams that was in the championship. And yeah. then I'm like, well. Like, yeah, I get confused. I'm thinking DEF CON. The DEF CON, y'all won the tournament yet this year? Nah, we ain't won the tournament. That's what I'm talking about. I know South Florida <laughs> Express won a few this year. Yeah, yeah. Y'all didn't won one yet. So nah. you was up there when Tiger threw the ball and. Yeah, I was up. Where did it come from, fool? Who told him to blindfold himself? I don't know what they be coming up with at South Florida Express. You <laughs> <laughs> got that confidence, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you said you don't know what they Funny, funny, you say it's Tiger was with them cars last year. Them cars was winning the championship. Tiger always played with them yeah. cars. That's why, that why I say I call Tiger like the the GOAT, because he ain't <laughs> winning championships where he at. He just going to win championships. You didn't know they was going to do that? Nah. You just was on the sideline? I didn't even know he threw a blindfold. I just seen the, the, the ball. I just seen the ball in the air like this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know he threw a blindfold. I know when they hiked that ball, I know he realized that, holy crap, I got to catch this ball before I throw it. It was one play um, when you was up there, you had you had intercepted the ball, you had snatched it out the air with one hand, man. Did you, like, was that purposely or that was just a reaction? You just say, damn, let me try to get this ball. Uh, we was down by, no, we was up by five points, so I'm like, whatever ball thrown away, I'm, I'm getting this ball. And the quarterback was talking junk and stuff. Yeah, so, when I seen the play, I was in like, Chicago? What? Yeah. Versus who? You remember y'all playing? Play, boom. Oh, that's their hometown, yeah. huh? Yeah. That was they, they Biggest team, I guess. It was lit. It was people there for boom. Yeah. They have crowd there. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was like it was a lot of commotion because the coach was the coach was pissed. They coach was mad. Like he was cussing. Yeah, people boom from that. Chicago. Yeah. Oh. You know who Boom is? Boom is the team that was on the Adidas commercial. Remember years oh, ago? Oh, the that's shorts. them. Yeah. That's oh, okay. They used to be the best seven on seven team in the nation. Oh, okay, like okay, five okay, years yeah. ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They still got a good team. We just, no, they got a good program. We just played with a lot of energy that game. Oh, really? Yeah. And y'all beat them. We beat them because. Our quarterback had to a pick, I think. And then I came out with that pick. Well, no, first Ryan caught a pick, they called it back. And then I caught a pick. And then the next play, CJ threw a bomb to um, JJ. Mm -hmm. JJ caught it deep. Then we got back on defense. Wayne had caught a pick. <laughs> like, it was all back to back. Then I just sealed the game. Yeah. Yeah. Picks is points, right? Wait, two yeah. three points? Yeah, it's like it's point two. Three, two or three. Yeah. Hey. Who tournament was that? Was that? 
Who was this Chicago? Pa- I don't know. The Pylon team, man. You think it was Pylon? It was Pylon, yeah. Pylon, Chicago. Yeah, Boom. Yeah, I ain't never. I don't think I've ever seen the Boom at a battle tournament. No. Yeah. Kind of like alliances. You got pick sides or something. I don't know what the hell be going on. So y'all went down last year, man. Y'all had a decent season, man. Y'all saw y'all y'all play St. Thomas. Y'all was focused that game. Though. Yeah, we was focused that game. Wow, that what, what what went into that? What what? Uh, I was, we came in as the underdog, so we just trying to win. Like we knew St. Thomas was that on us and stuff. So they say they wasn't really looking like we was gonna be that good. So yeah. they make excuses and stuff. Isn't it like some play. type of rivalry, St. Thomas? And, 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 um, Is it? And yeah. Dylan, that's like that's like a rivalry. Torn, right? Torn. Torn should know. He probably won't admit to it. <laughs> yeah. I know Dylan ain't beat them like in 20 something years. I think. Yeah, that's wow. not a rivalry. Yeah, that ain't no rivalry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you call that. It's bullying. No bullying, all right? That's what that is. Um, but y'all, I know that game, y'all played, you know what I'm saying? Y- y'all played, y'all had a chance to win that game. Yeah. Um, when little dude caught the pass and, and he. And Talk he, about him. Yeah. yeah y'all, y'all had a chance, y'all had a chance to win that game. But then um, y'all went down to Homestead in the playoffs, and and it kind of ended y'all season, right? That's the only time where we had a few bad games, but the teams we played was trash. But we just had a bad game that game. I don't know what happened that game. The offense started off slow. The defense started off slow. We went into halftime down fourteen zip. Anything different about it? Did it, did it was it at a different time? Did nah. it start early? It was a 7 o'clock game? I mean, us playing the week, it was just really like day crowd, which is lit. Like, they was just in two. Oh, I'm saying we lit down there. <laughs> they was just in two, and they came out early. Like, yeah. just killing us. And then we came back. We, we tied the game up like 14-14. They had a couple mistakes. They went up 21-14. I had y'all picked again. to win that game. Yeah, we were supposed to win I that mean, game. I mean, everybody had them picked to win that game. It yeah. wasn't even supposed to be close. Besides, besides Homestead. So. <laughs> um, and... And then, so what did he get? The final score was. It was twenty eight fourteen, but it, the last touchdown was like a fluke. Like the game was over. Like they was like at the five yard line with like seconds left, and they just scored. We didn't care at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy was done fighting for the seniors. It was over. Huh? <laughs> it was over. Let's go to the locker room, cry this thing up, go home. Hell was over here, so the pants over there. <laughs> we was looking forward to playing St. Thomas the third round. Oh, y'all want I think that's what messed us up. A couple people was that probably what it was. was looking that overlook, Thomas. overlook your, your opponent because you're looking towards the other point. Yeah, it happens a lot. Yeah. So what? What? You, so what area you grew up in now? Uh, I grew up in Shallow Side, Lot of Hill. Shallow. It's called Shallow Side. Was yeah. that just what y'all call it? Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah. Is it the hood? What is it? What are yeah, we talking about? Hood. It's the hood. It's the hood. There's a lot of pressure growing up, man. In in, in the hood, there's a lot of peer pressure and things of that nature. I wouldn't say it's peer pressure because it's like it's really on you. Yeah, talk like, to me. Growing up as a kid, when I saw it, I played football a lot over there, so yeah. like I knew a lot of people, so it wasn't really pressure on me. People would look out for me because I know I played football and stuff, mm-hmm. so they would look out for me. Yeah. yeah. But now nowadays, I don't even go outside no more. Like I just go outside to train and work out. But besides that, I just been in the house chilling. It seems it seems like, and we don't talk to kids about this a lot, but we finna talk to you about it. It seems like um, where we grew up, it was rough. Yeah. It was rough where we grew up. Not as many people had guns. <laughs> it seems, seems like y'all have more guns than we had yeah. at earlier ages. You know what I'm saying? Um, I seen growing up, I played basketball, and I would see dudes all day long in the dugout yeah. smoking. And it's just like you have a choice to do what you want to do. Does it become hard sometimes to make the right choice? Or how, how do you stay focused, bro? No, it don't become hard to me because I just look at the, the choices that people made. I look at where they at now. Like people that were smoking and stuff, they still in the hood, still right. living over there. So I'm like, I don't want to live like that. Yeah. And then you know, SCG Heen. Um, it was a couple people that came out that successful. Now I look at I look at them like I can make it out. SCG Heen is from. Yeah, he's from Shallow Side. He is from Shallow Side. Yeah. How big he's got by that? He did the song with Tracy, right? Yeah, he did a song with him, Tootsie, Tootsie. Uh, he did a song with a couple of big people, but yeah, he out there. Yeah? Yeah. You still, you still see him around or not? Yeah, I still see him around. But like, I know he got the money to get out. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So, so, so you saying it's not tough to do, it's not tough to do the right thing? No, it's not. No? Not tough. So no peer pressure. No peer you pressure. You got your own mind. Got my own mind. Like just the people, like people ask me do I smoke a lot. They say like I smoke and stuff, but I tell them like, I don't even leave the house like the smoke. So, nah. Nah, then people, I see people that smoke and stuff, like, I don't know what they get out of it. Like, nah, I'm 40 years old, bro. And me, and, me and my wife still trying to figure out <laughs> what it feel like being high. 
That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, 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 every time I try it, I don't know it. It don't, it don't work for me. But it seems like as if maybe in five years, marijuana might not even be illegal anymore. <laughs> at this point, I mean, the NCAA just yeah, yeah, the NCAA came, came out and said, yeah. "Hey, listen, man, we finna look at the NIL and see if we messed up anyone." Came out a week later and be like, "All right, we gonna let them smoke weed." <laughs> Whoa, like what just happened, dude? But I mean, yeah, it seems like hey, you're gonna grow up in a world where yeah. marijuana will be legal. I think what he's saying is like that's that's all he wanna do. Cause, you know, I know I know people who's, who's successful that smoke. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying. But then I know people who just smoke weed all day because they just <laughs> <laughs> like that's all they want to wake up and do is just smoke. Like, okay, well, you ain't gonna do nothing else. Listen, you, know what you ever watch a TV show Euphoria? Nah. No. <clears throat> you watch it? I heard of it. Nah, I ain't uh-huh. seen it. Yet. I, ain't seen I heard it. of it. It's about a bunch of high school kids, and they're wild, dog. It's like. And it's like, is this, they trying to depict this is what high school is now? Drugs and, like, hard drugs. Not, you know what I'm saying? Like, not, not small drugs. Hard drugs. Like, one of the girls is a crackhead in high school. And I'm like, man, they, are they trying to say, like, this is how tough it is in high school at this point? Because our rappers went from being the drug dealers. Y'all rappers when talk about being on drugs. <laughs> being being yeah. about, about using drugs. Yeah. And you know, a lot of times the culture the people follow the rappers. I mean, the rappers are kind of like the leaders and things. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the rappers doing, the women are wearing, the, the dudes are doing. If a rapper throwing money, we throwing money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and it's funny how the culture changed from the drug being the drug dealers to the drug users. Yeah, drug users. Nah, yeah. if you ain't never seen the four, you got to watch it. It's, 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 it's a cool show, man. If you got time. Speaking of that, I don't watch a bunch of TV. But <laughs> speaking of that, which who artists? You, what, what's your favorite? Who your favorite artist? That's a G. Oh, okay. oh, he is local, your favorite artist? Local artist, okay. What are some of the songs you sing? What can I, what can I look up? You was on some of my videos. Believe in me. Uh, what story. Uh, what songs you got? Let me look up. I can go ahead and my favorites. You know, it's, it's on, it's on, his songs are on Instagram. You ever heard somebody playing his songs on Instagram? You know you do? Yeah, a yeah. lot of people. All right, I'm check, I'll check it out. Now, I be seeing them on stuff. I be seeing them sometimes with the uh, dude to make the videos. Yeah. The girls be fighting and stuff. <laughs> what a day, man. Uh, yeah, I, I see. I see him out there a lot, and um, we interviewed Tracy, and Tracy did a right right after him. I think he dropped a song with yeah. SGN right after he did uh, the interview with us. Um, how can a lot of people transfer to Dillard, bro? What's going on at Dillard? Nothing going on. Uh, we just trying to build something over there. Y'all lost got, a lot? Nah, uh, not really. We lost like it was like, young. Dillard was young. We probably had like five. Not delete, but we probably had like five starters that left. Oh, that's it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we yeah, it was young. It was young. And then, like I say, they had a whole bunch of, they had a lot of 8th graders, a lot of ninth graders and 10th graders playing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that's, you know, a lot of them coming back with the transfer. Right. Playing, man. So, that's, they're going to be pretty good. I mean, pretty good until they win something. Y'all got to win something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You got I mean, it's just what it is. They got to win something. You must say they got to win something. I mean, I'm liking the coaching staff we got this year. You know, Coach Blue came from Heritage. They was a winning program. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. He is out there now. Coach man. Macho came from um, Dillfield. Mm-hmm. They a winning program. They just so. added to y'all program. Y'all still got the same quarter, right? Yeah. Yeah. But they added to y'all program. Western Coach came over there too, right? Nah. Who Western Coach with? He's at Seminole. Seminole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went to Seminole. So, um... No, I just seen like I saw I saw a lot of people the crib putting up a lot of people transferred to Dillard. You know you put all the transfers up. Yeah, you know that was really yeah. Dillard. Like Dillard, I guess they had broken apart this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so once, once, once oh, coach was and that's what that was. A lot yeah. of the kids was. Are the schools close? Uh, not like that, that? Not, 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 not close. close. Nah. Nah. nah, I guess this was the best fit for them. Right. Yeah, this is the best fit because the DN, the linebacker that came, we lost our linebackers and we uh-huh. lost our DNs, but we got blunt, but we lost our other DNs so. It should fit right in. Yeah. We lost receivers. And then two of their receivers came, which is perfect. And then we got two of It's gonna be kind of so. hard to, to, um, add, uh, to, to add another Mortimer, man. That, that guy was fast. Yeah. Who? Mortimer. Oh. That's why, it, it, that's why it'd be easy for me in the game. Like, in the, I don't say I'd be chilling in the game, but like, the game was just easy to me from guard him in practice every day. You be abusing your practice food? Not all the time. <laughs> not <laughs> at all least you admit. Not all the time. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Listen, man, that man is, is is those little rare receivers like that, bro. I think some some people just aren't can't you can't cover one. Oh God, yeah, yeah, it's not it's not. I lock them up now. Sometimes I lock yeah. them up, lock them down. Man, I we, we see this, but 
but the opportunity that you have to go against him every day. Every day. Oh yeah. my, it's, it's such a benefit of you yeah. to be a young cornerback having to guard arguably probably one of the most talented kids in the nation. Just don't get the recognition all the time for some reason. Because it's hype. But other than that, we 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 have talked to a bunch of other DBs and they yeah, all say, right. like, one of them, man, he the hardest he person. Best dog, best man. He, he killed me a couple of times. Like, killed me, killed me. But I did not stop. Like, I tried to follow him the whole pool. I have followed him, like, the whole practice of my day if he didn't slot or not. Yeah? Yeah, we go out there and practice. Like, he respect you for that, though. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, no, listen, that's, that, that can't do nothing but make you better because it's not too many people better. line up in front of you. That's that. Yeah. That's what he is. Um, not, 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 not at all. Um, so you're a 24, 24 kid, man. Um, what's going on with your recruitment? Are you really getting into it, or are you just letting it cruise into? I'm just letting it cruise right now. Yeah, like, I'm not even really into it right now. Like, into it, yeah. I'm just working right now. They can't. They get after me yet. They can't really. No, they just. Know. They can just. Talk. Hey, we watching you. You know what I'm saying? Good job, and. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, once 11th grade hit, like once that's when they gonna be like, boy, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> you been to some schools? Yeah, I've been to a couple. I've been to Georgia, Alabama, UCF, Georgia Tech, Miami. Uh, I'm going to Oklahoma March 5th. Yeah. And then I'm going with the hot bag on the little tour. Yeah. Are you gonna go to the bus? Yeah. Yeah. I saw. I saw they put that. They put that out. Um, what we gotta do to get you to commit on football for <laughs> What we gotta do? Tell us right now. What we gotta do? We gotta get you a car. Uh, we gotta paint the house. What we gotta do? <laughs> That's what twenty twenty four. Nah, just help me out. Stay loyal. I'ma stay loyal. Uh, nah, we got you. Right no, you come sit in the chair. You, you part of the family. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. You call to ask us anything. Um, we'll look out for you. Any questions you got about anything? Um, you call and ask us about marketing, media. Uh, just yeah. anything, bro. Yeah. We, you can we hit me up anytime. Football field. We we call them. It's Action Jackson. I don't know if nobody else. Got it yet. What? Action Jackson. Action Jackson. Action Jackson. <laughs> the um, superhero for the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> action, action Jackson. <laughs> nah. But nah, yeah, man, he uh, he, he, he going he to blow up big, man, because like I say, he's he's been playing since ninth grade. Every every game I've seen him play, he covers probably the best receiver on the team. Yeah. Yeah. And he does a good job. Like, that receiver don't do do too much of nothing. Um, Who was the best receiver you covered this year, other than Mortimer? I was well. Nobody really gave me a problem, but it was probably out of Camden and um. You had to cover Camden. Camden, oh yeah, well Camden, big boy. That's a big. Camden boy. ain't do nothing against you. Nah, he, did, he had a like a drive for ten yards, but they got called back, and he caught a a curl for like seven yards, but I was in cover three. Camden like what six four? He like six. Yeah, six. Boy like what two o five? Two o five. Yeah. Hold yeah. on, no, did we just we just had our like, King Williams? Y'all didn't play the turn in? Nah, we didn't play the turn in. Okay. So Camden, who else? Who else you covered this year though? Uh, Testine. From where? Billfield, yeah, number six. He came up this year. What his name? Testine. Go. Okay, I know you're talking about. Yeah. Right. Uh, who else would be? Nobody gave you problems? No, nah, nobody really gave me problems this year. You played 707 last year? Yeah. Who's the best receiver you ever covered in 707? Probably um JJ from from Shaman. Shaman Yeah. <laughs> really? JJ was young. Yeah, but we they both, both in the same grade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I just started playing corner like my ninth grade. Yeah. Yeah, I played running back really in little league throughout little league. And I just really started focusing on corner my ninth grade. Did they give you a problem? Uh, they wasn't really throwing the ball or nothing. No. Nah. I could just tell like his routes and stuff was smooth. Did they talk on the field? Because he don't talk. Nah, he don't really talk. Nah. <laughs> like, 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 you got you to gotta make him talk. Like, you got to start off the, the... Right, right. He don't really say much. I was wondering if he talk, or, he talk, or, talk trash on the field. Nah, he wasn't talking yesterday. So. You said JJ though. That's 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 interesting that you say that. Um, you remember respect JJ. You you seen. You yeah, know I what respect him. Yeah. And then you know I cover him in practice at SFE. There you go, man. But SFE got. I'm about to say he I go out there just to get the work. Yeah, he cover all the best ones in SFE. Like that's you got Brandon and Joe Ray Ray. They practice. How often y'all practice? Yeah, they, I'm on the 2014. I'm not with them. So when y'all saying numbers now, talk to me. Explain to the people what the numbers mean. Like 24 and 23? Yeah, explain to them. Because cause that's something I just started hearing. I, I know what they're saying, you know what I'm saying? But explain to people what 20. Oh, so basically yeah. like the A, the A and B team. Yeah. Nah, nah, see, see, that's. That. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying the 23 is the A team. Well, and then the, the explain to them. No, nah, it was just a lot of kids. It was just a lot of kids. Like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have worked out if it was the 23 and the 24 kids together. Because uh-huh. they both good. 
So they just split the kids up because the 24 and the 23 team good. Like, we both can dominate any varsity. So. Right. So he's, they're not looking at it like like it's an A or B or nothing. Oh, they're looking at it like two different years. Yeah. Okay, so two, okay. yeah, yeah. You could be the 23 team and have two of the top players in the nation on it, but they're 23. So now they're on the 23 team. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah I, you know, I just started hearing them say that. Like, that. I don't know when that started. Oh, okay. That's what they were saying yesterday. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Right, right, right. So they just split them up that way. Yeah. Who y'all quarterback? CJ from Shamanah. CJ right. from Shamanah. That's right. That's right. CJ Thomas is. just came over there. And when I just transferred to St. Thomas. Okay. Okay. All right. So, okay. So, you practice with the 24 team. 24 team. Right. 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 So, you're going to practice with the 23 team. Got all the top wide receivers in the nation. Yeah. 23 team. And they got the two best quarterbacks in the state. <laughs> I mean, the 24 team. I got a couple of Chance, best? JoJo, and JJ. They yeah, had the number one and number JoJo two. Best. Chance and JJ. Chance, JJ. Oh, okay, um, well, fuck it. I guess don't, 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 <laughs> I guess, JJ. Okay, JJ. I guess the drop off is that point. Um, Jojo. Jojo. Yeah. Jojo. Jojo played with y'all too. Yeah. And that's 24. Right. And then 23 is with Brandon, Carnell, yeah. Ray Ray. And right. Santana. Santana and, <laughs> right. And, right. That thing. That, nah, they, they, they loaded, bro. Nah, they loaded. What you like about 707, man? Your coach, you like you playing 707, they ain't got a problem with it? I mean, my coach told me just go for the experience, like just go out there, have fun, mm -hmm. go lock the butt, go for the experience. You don't got a problem with it, but it's not something that I like, that I die for. Yeah, but, you I mean, like playing it? Yeah, I like playing it. It's, what is it? It's, it's just the competing part of it. It's just yeah, being just, able to win something else. Or? No, I just to compete. I don't really care about winning a lot. No. I, but it's just the competing part, going out there having fun, and it's really the traveling for me. Like, I'm traveling for free. I think it's <laughs> it's, it's, it's entertaining. It's, it, it's entertaining because it's. It's street football. Right. It's really, it street, it's, football. It's really street football. Oh, all, all over again. You know what I'm saying? I was saying? in the bed one day when they hit me. I was like, oh, 707 is street football. It's street football all, <laughs> all over again. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's entertainment. You know right. what I'm saying? That, that was really fun for us, man. Yeah. Street yeah. football. You know what I'm saying? It didn't, get, it didn't get serious until you had to play on the team. Right. Right. So you say you get to travel for free. So y'all don't have to pay nothing. Um, I don't know. I don't know what people All right, we ain't got to talk about that. Hey, um, so, <laughs> so this experience of getting to go around, you yeah. chilling with, with your homeboys. Nah, because it's going really, really big. Out west, man, 707, man, they get 200, 300 teams of tournaments. Yeah. And I just always figured that eventually be like this here. That's when we started making play 707. I don't know if we're going to bring it back, but I just figured that eventually one day would be as big here. Um, I don't think it's there yet, um, but... West Coast always ahead of us and things of that nature. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, because they, they, they probably got, I guess, more sponsors for this. You know what I'm saying? Down here, is, we might have one, two, three sponsors per per tournament, man. They be having like 50 sponsors. Mm -hmm. That's why you're able to do 200 right. teams. 200 yeah. teams, we did 707 tournament. I, I, I don't want to do it again because it's hard. Know, it, it is. It's tough. It's a headache. <laughs> I forgot about the exposure part of it. Like, make one play, like that interception, you blow up. There you right. go. And and here's another thing about it. Um, when you play football, you have a helmet on. Yeah. Like sometimes I, these kids walk up to me, and I've never seen them without a helmet, so I don't know yeah. who they are. They know who I am. You know what I'm saying? But 707, you ain't got no helmet on. Yeah. That's another thing about brand and, and growing your following. People can actually see who you are. You know what I'm saying? They can actually connect with you and see who, who you yeah. are. Um, that's one. That's one facet of it. But it's definitely a different sport. It's not football per se. It's 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 a different sport. You know what I'm saying? It's not. I don't know how to say it. it it's the social media. It's the social media for football. <laughs> because, like you say, they get to see my face. You know what I'm saying? Right. A lot. In the NFL, they playing games. You really can't see the person's face. Nah. You know what I'm saying? You could probably see a person walk up to you. You wouldn't even know who that That's was. That's why basketball players are more famous. I ain't gonna yeah. lie, I don't, I don't know a lot of NFL players outside their helmet. You see what I'm saying? Until <laughs> yeah, they take their helmet off, you be like, oh, dang, that's him. That's why basketball players are more famous. Like, we be at fields and stuff. Like, yeah. my teammates and stuff would be like, that's like, for instance, I was at Hurricanes Field, David Cook was out there. I thought I was David Cook. Right. <laughs> because it, because it's, it's, I pick a side, because when, when it comes with fame, when people recognize you, now you can't go everywhere you want to go. Yeah. So, so you got to pick the first person you want to be. Um, you could be one to be, get the money, be in the NFL, nobody really recognize you. 
And you could just walk around with your family because no matter really. Yeah, I don't really care about the fame. I just yeah. care about getting the money and you know, right. playing football. And, well, it ain't really just the money. I just yeah. love the game of football. I yeah, you, you're passionate about it. Right. So, so I ain't going to say pick a side, but you, that comes with people recognizing you. Yeah. They, people recognize you. Yeah, the more they, they, they think your they time is daytime. Yeah, the they walk up to you, you know what I'm saying? We'll be in the store chilling, shopping, and they be like, "Hey, that's so cool, Jackson." <laughs> your time, your time, yeah, your your time, like, time. Right, they ain't taking you to the yeah. race. You could be eating ice cream, you know. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's on site when they see you. So, <laughs> so that's the that's the that's the part to go with. You got a favorite college room? Like you grew up watching what? Miami. You did grow up watching Miami. Yeah, I grew up watching Miami. But Clemson was the first game I went to. They had played some team in, in a bowl game, but I was like probably like ten. In the Orange Bowl. Old. I don't even remember. Was it was say, here? Yeah, it was at the art <laughs> I was about to say, was that, was, that, uh, was that the famous one? They got blue. No, uh, that was saying, I, don't even, I know it was cold. It, it was in Miami, Miami, right? It was at the Hard Rock City. He's saying, remember, he's like a, he's saying Clemson played here. No, I was going to say, I was saying, was that the game that got beat yeah. bad by West Virginia? But that was way, that was a long time ago. I don't know. Yeah, you, you, you had to be like, a, you had to be like maybe five, six when that game happened. So this <laughs> probably had to be when Clemson played. Was it Michigan they beat Michigan? Oh, no. oh, oh, no. I don't know. That was the team. first college game you went to? First college game I went yeah. to. Yeah, but you grew up a Miami fan. Yeah, I grew up a Miami Your fan. Your family Miami fans? Yeah, my uncle played basketball for Miami, so my whole family Miami fans. Uncle, what's your like, uncle name? The Wayne Wembley. Yeah. yeah. What year? Wow. I don't know. I remember the name. That Wembley, that got to be like early 2000s. So y'all all came fans? Oh, like the whole family, because I think he was like the first one to go to college. Yeah. So. Whole family with Miami fans. You been out there yet? Yeah, I've been to Miami a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. Any cornerback, any cornerback you um you see yourself in uh, the NFL or college? That you know, yeah, that's, that's the guy who I, my game is like. Saucy. Uh, Sauce Gardner from uh, oh. Cincinnati. Okay. Okay. What you like about him? He just play with the confidence. He big. He long. He hit, he come up and hit, he play with the company. Oh, so you speed. do like the hit? For yeah. Cincinnati? I ain't gonna say I like the hit. Oh, you but don't? I, but I hit. You hit. Yeah, I hit. Cause a lot of cornerbacks don't want to put their hit, you know, they don't want to get in there. Yeah, I, I, but you I like, like that. You like that? Yeah. You hit, okay. Coming for the Bengals? Yeah, no, no, for um Cincinnati, the Bearcats. Oh, the Bearcats? Yeah, Bearcats, okay, Bearcats. Bearcats. No, 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 no. He ain't making it yet. Yeah, he's talking about the college. Yeah. Yeah. Um, You say you're physical. Football, y'all don't really got hit like that no more. Yeah, I don't really, I'm at corner, so I don't really hit that much. But when it, when I get the chance to hit, I will hit. Like, you think the game is 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 not fair for the cornerback? Nah. You think the wide receiver get all of? Nah, cornerbacks gotta lock up. That's their job. That's what they chose to play, so they gotta play. Their but job. you know what? After five yards, you can't touch them. So it's like you basically like all the rules are for the cornerback. Like the wide receiver get to do whatever he want to do. Say like I just make the receiver soft. Yeah. I just dang. explain that. Explain that. What you be? They like to dance out the line, <laughs> do all that extra stuff. I just want to <laughs> play football. They be trying to be out there looking pretty. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Be the receivers. And they did about 30 bulls before they went five yards. <laughs> then they cry as soon as you touch them. You can't touch them at all. They won't cry. Right. Go crying to the ref. Who you train with? I train with Coach Strong, Hard by Fair. Uh-huh. Uh, Hard by Fair? Yeah. I train with... Who's blue? He just came, but I mean, I did a couple of training sessions with him. Yeah. And that's about it. What, what defense you like playing? You like playing man, zone? I like playing man. My family like I like playing zone a lot, but I just, because of the defense of calling me out last year, but I like playing man. But but are your family from zone? Yeah, playing off coverage. But me and Coach Blue talked about it. I'm playing a lot of press man and shit. Yeah. Because Alabama said they needed to see that. So I'm just going to let them see it. Wait a minute. Alabama said they want to see you play in press. press. man. So now y'all defense change. <laughs> yeah, we got, yeah, with the two defense, the new two defensive coordinators. Yeah. Yeah, it changed around a lot. Like, every play changed. Yeah. You got no saying. He say Alabama, T. Rob probably say, man, boy, I want to see your man. No, no but T. Rob wasn't over there yet. It was, oh, he wasn't there yet? It was actually Coach, um, Coach Jay that went there. Oklahoma. Oh, okay. It was actually he gone him. now too, huh? Yeah. But, but you can't he offered me at Oklahoma. He did? You went to Oklahoma? How would you do? He offered me at Oklahoma. Yeah, you know, they just got they do coaching staff. That's crazy. Like, you build a relationship with a coach at this, and then the next week he's at another school. Yeah. I mean, I was talking to Coach Ben, was at Clemson too. He would say he was getting ready to offer me, but he offered me at Oklahoma too, so. How many you got? Uh, 21. 
when Hakeem was just talking about committable and non-committable, right? Mm-hmm. Is that something you pay attention to? He was the first kid I think I've ever heard talk up say that, say that that some of the offers are committable, some of them are not. Because they call y'all and say they they talk to you, they talk to you they, when they call you, they tell you that. Yeah, they'll tell me I can commit. I can like Rutgers told me I can wake up the next morning. I can commit right now. Yeah, yeah. It's a couple of schools that told me that, but it's a couple of schools that I don't talk to at all. Yeah. It's probably like five schools that I haven't talked to in a while. So, but when the sign the day come, that's really all that matter. The offers I got on the table when the sign the day come. Right. Who 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 calls you the most? Uh, well, they don't call me. I have to call them. Yeah. But who I communicate the most with is Georgia, Oklahoma. I only really talk about anybody that the most since Coach T. Rock, you know. No. No. Yeah, you I know they can't. They can't really. Yeah, they can't call at this at this point. Yeah, yeah. They have to wait till eleventh grade, and then then they can start calling. They can't contact them. No way. Twitter or nothing. Nah. And to to the coach here. Yeah, they 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 only got to contact the coach. You know what I'm saying? To go to the school, and you still can't really talk to the tenth graders like that. Yeah. Uh, I talked to coach. I talked. I called Coach T. Rob a lot. Um. But yeah, that's really the school I talk to the most. T. Bob went with the Bama, right? Yeah, with the Bama. Yeah, yeah. 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 Your crew. I mean, you, 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 um, you still got like a couple more months before you get to eleventh grade. Cause once, once you hit that eleventh grade thing, boy, it's finna go crazy. You might as well tell your mom you need another phone. <laughs> <laughs> another phone. We might need a uh, secretary, secretary man. And look, you take my calls over here. I swear to God, I have two phones. Nah, but it's crazy because Coach Fran was actually like, I wouldn't like me. I wouldn't really go to Rutgers. Like, like no disrespect to Rutgers, but mm-hmm. like. You know, the schools I got and stuff. But Coach right. Fran was actually bringing records on the map for me. And now he at Georgia. Because of the way he was recruiting you? Yeah, like. Because he showed your attention? Yeah, like he was just being, he, like the day he offered me, he just was being real. Like he don't really, it ain't even just the football part he offered me for us. He, him offered me as the character. Yeah? Yeah. And Coach Jay from UAB, like I wasn't really looking to go into UAB, but the way he was talking to me, I was starting to look into yeah. it a little bit. But now he at Arkansas. <laughs> wow, dude, no, dude. Yeah, so by the time he gets so great, and he, the coaches who recruit you there are gonna be over here. Like, man, it's crazy. Yeah, that got out of hand, man. That's why a lot of coaches tell me they're recruiting me, them for like, like they're recruiting them, they're recruiting me for them, like. They just trying to show the type of person they are because they don't know what they're going to end up at right. in the next two years. So it's basically, uh, like you said, a little months ago, you were like, man, you double recruit the kid. Right, right. Yeah. But instead of you double recruiting for the school, you double recruiting for yourself. And like you saying, well, hey, I'm at the school. We still got this relationship with each other, like you say. Right, like, right. Oh. And then because friend even Rutgers going to Georgia, it's like, I'll go to Georgia. Like, it's a big school. Like, right. That's, that's, what, that's what helped Georgia out. Right. Yeah. So having an end like Najee Kelly, right? Does that make your job easier at quarterback? Yeah, make it a lot easier. Explain. Quarterback got pressure. The quarterback can just sit around there, sit down there, well, sit back there and just play around with the ball and stuff. Cause Najee, Najee and Blunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of them coming too. Quarterback, the quarterback right. got to get the ball up, and then I'm back corner, so the receiver can't do all that dancing because they know we got good DNs. So they got to get into their routes, and the quarterback don't want to get hit, so he just be throwing the ball sometimes. <laughs> what? Yeah, the in this year. Yeah, I have four. And I yeah. have to pick six. But me and Najee used to argue about that. Not argue, but like, argue about to, what? Like we used to like talk to each other. When I get a pick, he'd be like, "I got you that pick. I got a quarterback rush for you." I'm like, nah, man, I locked the receiver. Up. And the quarterback just throw the ball the because throw of the pressure. The yeah. Yeah. No, you, you was there for um um, um Najee Kelly signing. Yeah. Day. You you knew where he was going. Yeah, I knew he was going. Where you knew he was going. You you know a long time. I wouldn't say a long time, but a little minute. But but with Buzz, I, it was out of West Virginia. I knew he wasn't going to Florida State. Right. Everybody seemed to be shocked about about yeah, with Buzz with. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah you, you well no, I was look, West listen, Virginia or Louisville. Louisville. Yeah. I was I was shocked because I think like two days before they were like yeah but um one man ain't gonna sign for uh, Florida State. I'm like like why like he's been. Committed to them for a long time, and right. I ain't hear him even taking no visits. And finally, they came around. Louisville was applying that pressure. They was? Yeah. They were coming hard. They were coming hard. I know what he said. He, he basically said, like, yeah, that the offense fit him a lot better at Louisville than at Florida State. No, it makes sense what he said. Right, right, right. Sports? What is sports? Sports is entertainment. So what is TikTok and Instagram? That's your reality TV show. So tell me this. 
What do you plan to do with your own reality TV show? Just let it sit dormant and watch everybody else get lit? Or are you going to do something about it? If you need some ideas, man, DM us. So where you play youth football at? Uh, I played at Lions from Pee Wee all the way to 12 years. And then I had with Coach Chopper at Pasadena Panthers from, and I played 12 years again over there. Because you know my birthday late, so I played 12 years again over there. You won the Super Bowl with the Lions? Seven years. Seven years? <laughs> <laughs> the rest of it was rough? The rest of it was rough, but I was just out there having fun. I wasn't really care about winning. Who else you played with? Uh, like, as far as On your team, team, yeah. Anybody we know with the Lions? At any, at any age? I don't think you'll know. Well, you probably don't know. No, I don't think you'll know. No? Nah. Nah. Really? Really? And then you went to Pasadena and played with Chop Team. Y'all went to Super Bowl. Yeah, we lost in the Super Bowl. Close game? Close game. What was this you played? I played corner and running back. You like playing running back? Yeah, I liked it. But Coach Strong had talked to me. Yeah? He told me corner was best for me because I was trying to come in high school as a receiver. I ain't had no route running. <laughs> I was just athletic. That boy said he just finna change the whole position. Just... So I came in high school as a corner. And that's when after my freshman year I had got six offers from corner. Yeah. And then recruitment had after them six offers it had like stopped a little bit. And then after this year, I had bought that at corner show that I could play corner. And that's when it just started blowing up. So so you tried to come in as a wide receiver. So running back, you didn't mention running back at all. That was dead. Nah, the way my body was shaping, I wasn't running back. What you mean? <laughs> the way your body was shaped. I was getting taller. Oh, oh I was starting to tall. stretch. Yeah. I you wasn't starting to get big. Like, try to tell you all now. Like six one. Six one, tenth grade. Wait, how much you weigh? Like one seventy, one seventy five. I probably with like one seventy two right now. Wait, so you, you went to the doctor that did the doctor give you the um he how tall you would grow? Nah. No. You six one now? Six one. Mm. That's 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 that's, that's, that's well, I think the doctor said I probably get like to six two, six two, something like that, cause I have a tall family. My mom and dad not too. Well, my mom tall. She's like five seven. Your yeah. uncle's tall. Yeah, yeah six nine. Was, yeah, he's tall. Tall as hell. Is dad not tall? <laughs> no, he like five seven. No. Five eight. Something like that. You did a laser forty? No. No. I haven't done no forties, no shuttles, none of that. So you went to the Super Bowl twice. You won once. Won once. You thought y'all was gonna beat Miramar them? Miramar quarterback. Who, who them quarterback was? Uh, EJ. EJ from Champaya. Yeah, he said with the dreads on the way yet this year, the way. He still at Champagne Yacht? Yeah, I think he's at Champagne Yacht. You thought y'all was going to beat him? Yeah, I thought we was going to beat him. I thought we was going to blow him up. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Why you thought that? Because the team we had, like, we had the perfect, we didn't have too much people. Like, we had the perfect amount of people, like, yeah. talent-wise. But, they were going to Y'all have played them already? No, nah, we ain't played them that season. That yeah, boy said they ain't going to blow him out. They had a nice little team, didn't they? Yeah, they had a nice little team. But we had a nice little team, too. And I liked our team over their team. And it was it was a close one, and they got y'all at the end. Yeah, still to the day, I think we supposed to blow them up. You had a good game in running back. Yeah, I was driving the last job. I was drove up from the opposite side of the field to like the twenty yard line, and then quarterback threw a fade, and they picked it off at the <laughs> end of the game. <laughs> well, y'all was that was gonna try to tie the game. Yeah, I already got the ball one more time with the one. Yeah. So, but then when you got to high school, you like, man, I ain't finna let these dudes hit me no more. <laughs> Basically. Well, if I, have, if I haven't talked to Coach Strong, I probably would've came to try to play running back knowing me. You think so? Yeah, I probably would've tried to just play offense. I just like offense. Like, I miss offense, no, I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, you do? But defense fun, though. I ain't gonna lie. What you miss about offense? Getting the balls in my hand. Showing Juke. people what I can do. Juking, juking somebody, running them over. I'm gonna try to return some punt returns this year and keep returns. Who y'all had back there last year? <laughs> I don't even know why I asked that question, but he gone, so now it's the position open. I mean, we still got Edward. He going to blow up this year. He had number 12. Uh, what his name is? Edward Lewis. Okay. Had number 12. He going to blow up this year. Got to look out for him. Play yeah. Season. Marcus Sugars. He can, uh, but CJ, uh, number six, the running back, you know, he went like a 4-4, 10-7, something like that. Yeah. So he, he'll be like the main guy this year. But when he gone, then that's when we'll come. But you want to try to get back there return and kick some yeah. points. Got to go back and have some fun for my days over. But returning <laughs> points, boy, that's kind of, boy, returning points is kind of. Nah, I know what I can do when I, got, when I get the ball. <laughs> the pressure is the pressure, ain't it, dog? Nah, yeah, we from that ball, boy. You can be late with that. Man, get that ball. <laughs> Y'all have a schedule out yet? No. Nah. No, nah, I ain't did nothing yet. I just know we play, um, um, what's 
think it was L, I don't know, I forgot their name. Los Amelia or something like that. From where? Cali. Y'all play a team from Cali, y'all going over there, they come over here. Coming down here. You know it's a lot of um I think I saw that. Man. They got McCall Lemon. I think I saw that. And then, when they do you want to see the first game? Oh, wow. It's King Kong Classic. Team from Cali, from Cali, from Cali, Cali. And then you know Shemanoff, that team from Cali. We are, they playing in Georgia? No, nah, we played them. They come to us. I did it. City, City of Los Angeles? No. Did it. Los, Los Amigos, something like that. Los Amigos. Los Amigos, some crazy China, this list, you know, the side is not in Cali. This team right here. The side not in Cali. No, they ain't in Cali. They ain't in Cali. Lost up. Oh, okay. Los Alamitos. Lost Air. I don't know how I ain't got paid before. Lost Alamitos versus, um, y'all pay them next year? Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy we play them. Why? Because they got, it's my chance. They got some receivers. They got some receivers. They got a chance. It's <laughs> a chance. And I'm playing press coverage the whole game. Lost out of me to Brazil. Lost out of me to Brazil. Yeah, under the radar cover them a lot, huh? Yeah. They got the number two quarterback in the class of 23. Yeah. They got to win that's committed to USC. Yeah, then. Oh, wow. And then they, they got a receiver committed to USC. Then they got a receiver yeah. that's just committed from Oklahoma. But I think he's going to go there too. Yeah? Yeah. And you said y'all played them where? Oh really? They come here. Yeah. Who set that game up? We, we will be there. <laughs> we will oh, be man. there. You know, it's, a, it's like the top schools in South Florida, I guess, playing teams from Cali. Oh, are they? Like Shemana I play a team from Cali. St. Thomas played Servite. Same, same bro. That's gonna be a good one. Same weekend. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Mm, what they trying to do? No Servite, Servite that deal. They trying to, they trying to say South Florida football ain't. It's better than <laughs> West Coast football. I mean, I, that's what I'm thinking. Nah, that, nah that, should be a, that should be a good test for you there. That boy's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> what you play? You got a competition down here, though, though? Yeah, I got a lot of competition. Yeah? Y'all didn't really have a tough schedule last year, right? Nah. No, so, yeah. Did, y'all played Diffield the night, right? The Diffield, yeah. Y'all was up on, let's talk about that before we got here, man. Y'all was up on Diffield, right? Yeah. Explain to me. Y'all was up on Diffield, and then from that point, what happened? In your mind, you saw what happened. You're talking about when we beat them 2 ones up, right? Halftime? Yeah, yeah halftime. Yeah. Uh, I just know the way we prepared for that game. I knew we was going to win that game. Like, we right. just prepared too much for that game to lose. But then, after we scored our first touchdown, I seen the energy we had, and we stopped them. Then we had caught, like, two picks back-to-back, scored, and then... Coach State was just making up plays, calling plays in the middle of the game. <laughs> what? It was working. So I'm just like, yeah, this game over. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And yeah, it's going to get ugly if we finish. But, okay, so explain to us what happened. Y'all went to the locker room? What, what happened? We went to halftime? We ain't even going to the locker room. We just stayed on the field, went in the, went in the corner. Uh-huh. Coach State just taught us. He said, keep the energy. Like, he was he was just keeping the energy, making sure we kept the energy. We came up, we were stretching. And that's when that thing happened when they walked off the field. So, okay, so uh, uh, walk us through that. Y'all stretching, and then what you saw, what happened? We stretching. I seen them calling Coach Tate to a meeting in the middle of the field, all the coaches meeting and stuff. Like, the whole, we didn't even recognize they formed two lines. Yeah. So, then the, the thing, the halftime thing went off, we getting ready to go play. Like, we in the huddle. We look back, they walking off the field. Right. They hit us off guard. So, they walking <laughs> off the field, we thinking, like, something happened. Uh-huh. I still don't even know what happened to this day. And Coach came back and told y'all what? Coach, coach came back and told us. Like he was talking low at first, he was like, like trying to make it seem like something bad happened. But then he was like, we got W. Yeah. That's when we just went crazy. Oh, y'all ain't care? Y'all ain't wanna? No, we can't watch finish. We just got W. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we would've saw that different as kids. So we wanted to finish man, playing the game. Man, I wanna Y'all ain't care, y'all just went one. Y'all just have y'all won. Yeah. Yeah? Got W. They probably would've got more ugly, though. That's why we'd've been mad. <laughs> I can't wanna blow these boys out, man. No, nah, no, nah, that was all the odd, that, that was a whole odd situation, you know. I figured you was there, I just wanted you to display to the people, you know what I'm saying, exactly how you saw it from where, 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 you, was, where you were standing there. Outside looking in, because it was so much rumors going on that nobody really knew what was going on. We just figured, 
I mean, I like at the end of the day, somebody forfeit, somebody got the W. Right. Yeah. Tell the people where they can find you on Instagram, you know. You can find me on IG at Antoine Jackson One underscore. It's A N T R O N E J A C K S O N One underscore. You can find me on Twitter at Action underscore Jackson. It's a three at the end of Action. Uh, you can find me on TikTok at Young and Twan. I'll be on that door with that. You be dancing on TikTok? Bro? No, I won't be dancing. I'll be making like football videos and stuff. Yeah, you ain't got to dance. I'll be joking, but you got a dancing dude on there, though, from our team, ain't it? Uh, that dude from Dillon? Probably Marcus, if that's what you're talking Tall about. Tall guy? Oh, Najali? Not Najali. Nah, man. It's, it's a dude on there that go to Dillon, man, with the dreads. That's all he do is dance. Maybe maybe he's trying for schools or something. I know he was at Dillon at one point in time. I probably got to see him. Yeah, maybe he trained for school or something. Oh, that's all he do is dance. I know he was at Dillard at one point in time because he had videos at Dillard dancing <laughs> on TikTok. Oh, you talking about Fable? Yeah. Fable. He had um, FAMU. Oh, he gone? Yeah, oh, FMU. Oh, he gone? Yeah, yeah he is. He is. He's in college now. He in college now. No, that boy, that boy been dancing for years. He was on our team last year or he didn't play for a while? No, nah, he, 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 was, he left before I got there. Oh, he, he been going for that one? He going, yeah. he going for a long time? Me only in the 10th grade. <laughs> but I thought the boy, it seemed like the boy was in high oh, school last year. That's what it seemed like, you know what I'm saying? It seemed like he was in high school last year. Nah, nah, he, he always there. So you be on TikTok making football videos? Yeah. Yeah, I don't dare. I put football video on TikTok too. I'm just joking. For you. What's your TikTok? It's Young and Twan. Y-O-N-G-I-N-T-W-O-N. You know anything else? That's it? Nah, that's it. Uh, y'all can follow Hard by Fair on Instagram too. What is it? Hard by Fair. What's that? Uh, it's a clothing line. Uh-huh. Training. That's Cool Strong. The one. Yeah. Strong, Art Buff- you said Hard by Fair? Yeah, Hard by Fair. That's tra- what I'm wearing right now. Oh, that's what this is? Oh, what is it? Hard by Fair. 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 Okay. You don't be seeing me wearing a lot on IG? No, no, no. I'll be wearing the, the, So who designed that? Cool Strong. Cool Strong, you, you, you see him sometime at the sewing machine, you sewing stuff? <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> He got a clothing line. What is it like? Training, all right? Yeah, it's training, clothing line. It's a lot. It's everything. Yeah. What you mean? It's everything. What else could it be? Just getting exp- getting kids exposed. Like a brand. Making video. Yeah. Yeah. Where y'all training? Any available fields? <laughs> <laughs> well, how, okay. How does communication go? That morning they just they just put they, it on poster somewhere or something. Yeah, nah, they hit them up. Ask them. Yeah. When, when can they train that? They set appointments and stuff. Is it just DBs? Nah. It's, Every position. Oh, like O-line too? Every position. Yeah? Every position. And y'all be up in Broward somewhere? Yeah. That's that's what's up, man. Let the people see you want to set up a model, man. What you want to do? You want to walk? Hard breath. <laughs> that's how I got to get, go get y'all some hard breath. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. That's what I was telling you. You can keep on your stuff. Um, Hakeem came with white boy on. That's why I was going to change the shirt, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you got your shirt. But listen, man. We're going to be following him, bro. I'm going to get you commit commit on here on Footballville. Let us know what we yeah, got to do. Yeah, man. Give a shout-out to Footballville, Caneville, Crib Talk. Hey, shout-out to Caneville, man. Shout-out to Crib. It's the Crib, man. We, we the first with, with, with Action Jackson interview. Y'all know where you get it from. Big time players step up in big game.